colored eggs. Now, with this experiment, we are looking for two main questions. Which test creates the brightest egg? And which test creates the lightest egg? And while we're testing those things, we also want to think about why this is happening. So we're going to come on over to our egg station. As you can see for this experiment, what you're going to need is some white vinegar, some distilled water, a one cup measuring cup, some food dye. We're going to need a teaspoon. You're going to need three containers. I have labeled these for us. And you're going to need a timer and some boiled eggs. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the water. Each one is going to get one cup of water. It can be cold or warm. I'm using warm water right now. I'm gonna fill it up. Okay, so each now has one cup. So our control is not going to get any vinegar. Our orange cup right here is gonna get two teaspoons of vinegar. And our pink cup right here will get one. Okay. So now that we've done that, we're going to add some food dye to all three. I'm going to add three drops to each one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And we're going to give it a stir. We have some nice green food dye right here we're going to use. We're going to make our boiled eggs green. Now we have one more thing we're going to do. We are going to take two teaspoons of vinegar and add it back into here. And we're going to take one more teaspoon and add it into here. And now that we have our water ready, we're going to take our hard boiled eggs, we're going to add them in there. Now, when I add these in here, we're going to start the timer for two minutes. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. So here's our first egg, second egg, and our third egg. And our timer is set for two minutes. Okay, my friends, that was our timer. So, as you saw, we have some bubbles on this one, lots of bubbles on this one. It doesn't look like we have any on that one. So we're going to take our first one and I'm going to pull it out. Okay, and we're going to put it right here. We're going to take our second one out. And put it right here. And our third one. Okay, my friends, now which one do you think looks more green? Our first one, our second one, or our third one? Hmm. Okay, my friends, I'm gonna go with this one. I think this one looks more green. Now, why does it look more green? Well, our food dye is an acidic dye, and vinegar itself is acidic kind of like a lemon, it's nice and sour. Now, remember that our middle egg had together four teaspoons of vinegar in it. So with that, it's super acidic and we added water, which is a base. So these two together created a chemical bond. And when this happens, it creates an ideal condition for food coloring to dye the egg. Now eggs themselves are made out of calcium carbonate. That's the same thing as what your bones are made out of or even your teeth. They're nice and white. And in the right environment, if you have something very acidic, you have the opportunity to dye it, like the eggs. So my friends, when you place the egg in vinegar and water, you can often see the chemical reaction taking place as the bubbles of carbon dioxide form in the liquid. So my friends, it's time for you to try your own egg dyeing experiment at home. You'll see a link below for the instructions on everything you need. And send us a picture. I'd like to see what 
you make. Bye, my friends!